Well, it's a good thing I love my mom because I clearly hate myself. You guys all really seem to enjoy me suffering through the human centipede. Some of you guys actually couldn't even watch me suffer through the human centipede, but uh, I, I thought uh, I'd, I'd take another look at one of these iconic torture flicks. And that flick is hostile. So Eli Roth is kind of fucked up, right? It's been like eight years since I've seen Green Inferno and I'm still not okay. And the fact that I said that would probably make him really happy. But other than the 2003 Cabin Fever movie that I actually remember enjoying, I don't know if I've ever comfortably watched any of Eli Roth's movie. I, I haven't watched all of them, um, but you know, after Green Inferno, I was, I was okay. And oddly enough, the only hostel I've actually seen was partially part of Three. And that one isn't even by Eli Roth, but I started hyperventilating right when somebody started getting tortured in a way that involved eyes and it had to be shut off because I was like having a little panic attack. Um, so I'm really looking forward to this experience. But I do have two fun little fun facts about this movie. One, when my friends snuck in to watch it back when it came out in like 2006, they thought that they went into the wrong theater and were watching some kind of weird porno for like the first 20 minutes apparently. And two, Hostel premiered at the Toronto Inter International Film Festival of 2005. Right alongside movies like Brokeback Mountain and Thank You for Smoking. However, it did definitely make the biggest market of all those movies except maybe Brokeback Mountain, but there weren't any sequels to that. I don't know how there would have been a sequel to Broke Jack, it's whatever. But Hostel just always seemed so excessive that it always just struck me as something that would have been created quietly in some dark basement and then pushed out to like weird notoriety. But I guess without any further ado, sitting at a surprisingly high 61% from critics and 53% from audiences, Hostel. Quentin <laughs> Tarantino presents. Of course he does. So the only thing I really know about this is that somebody's Achilles tendon gets slashed and I'm not looking forward to it. So they're in Amsterdam taking in the local amenities and the culture, AKA getting super stoned. Yeah, we should go to a museum. How about the uh, hemp museum? <laughs> Good Amsterdam shit. It's honestly like Euro trip so far. <laughs> it's exactly like Euro trip. Do you see a single other person in here with a Fanny pack. I can't put my passport in my pocket because it changed my thigh, bitch. Hey man, fanny packs are the move, okay? Ah, I am an American, I got right. <laughs> Did this seriously just have that? I'm an American, I have rights in a different country. Holy God, I need to watch Cabin Fever again. I just remember that being so much better. I don't know why you guys are waiting. It's a fing fest in there. Wall to wall fing cock. This is like just a slice of 2005 intensity that like most movies don't document. But this did. This did belong at a film festival. God, I hope bestiality is legal in Amsterdam because that girl's a fucking hog. <laughs> I can understand why uh, they thought this was a porno. You watch, you pay. Sorry, Jesus. Yeah. I said you watch, you pay. I, I pay, I pay, man. Come on. So these guys hooked Josh up with the private experience and he just bails. Your friends are so funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> him just they pay for a hooker for him and he just <laughs> all that big talk for nothing all right so they get back after curfew so they can't get into their hostel luckily alexi here is willing to let them up and they tell him all about their plans to go to barcelona to get some great girls because they're kind of over amsterdam yeah kind of over amsterdam you know way too many americans i'm sure it's hard to remember but you're american and this guy's like alexi knows where you can get all the primo girls in europe all you have to do is go to Slovakia. Oh shit, Alex is a pimp apparently. They hear your ex and they f you. The only thing is this hostel isn't on any of the guide maps. Also, is this like the unrated version of this movie? How is this even allowed to play in theaters? Hey man, I shaved my ass just for you, okay. man. Yeah, up until this point, this really just feels like an edgier version of Euro Trip, and I'd probably just really like it if it stayed that way, but it's not gonna stay that way. So this guy sits with them and tells them about his daughter, and then Oli drops this bomb. This is Sundeva, my daughter. You have a daughter? Yeah, of course, my horse. So I'm sure horrible things are gonna happen to him. So he tells them that they're on their way to Slovakia. Slovakia? <laughs> you can pay to do anything. Anything. That's foreshadowing for you can pay to kill people. You need a fork there, chief? I prefer to use my hand. I am a meat eater. It's human nature. What is your nature? Whoa! Don't touch! Like, I know I keep saying it, but this does seem like something that would have been played for comedy and not creep out in Euro Trip. I think it was. Oh. 
scusi Edward salad hands just grub Josh oh he can visit some factories but they do actually end up getting to like one of the nicer areas that they're looking for and it's it's quaint it's, it's beautiful if only i didn't have some general idea of what was coming and they do shockingly get to a very nice hostel i actually didn't expect that to happen i, I thought this was gonna be a, a, a torture chamber the second they got here hey they're watching pulp fiction tarantino all over this here are your keys you leave your passports at the desk but you know it's never a good sign when they say leave your passports here with us so they get to the room and these girls are just changing and inviting them to the spa and have no issues being naked around these random dudes. Chucks. It's so 2005. This is Ollie, the king of the swing. Hello. Hello, girl. <laughs> yeah, these girls think these guys are way too funny. There's something fishy going on here. What is it that Magneto says in X-Men 2? Never trust a beautiful woman, especially one who's interested in you. Yeah, that. Prague school. Kafka. Now it's time for the rock disco. And there are the drugs. Okay, so this guy is like surrounded by attractive women and he's talking about his like recent really bad breakup. Like, I feel like Eli Roth saw Eurotrip and was all like that, but like with torture. Yeah, like when did Eurotrip's like 2004, right? Yeah, 2004. So there's there's definitely enough time for him to have been inspired by that and make this. Joshy doesn't know the Fiona me do it in my van every Sunday. I mean, I'm totally over. It's, yeah, it's cool. Why is this attractive woman sitting around with a guy moping over his ex? Does the cigarette bother you? Uh, no, it's, it's, Let's it's. Put it away. <laughs> <laughs> he got it. Are you a little young? Oh god, it's the creepo again. Oh no. Okay, I, I didn't think that the first attack was gonna be at the hands of children, but oh, uh, dope. Be cool. So he gets the creep a drink and he talks about how his daughter changed his life. And then he flashes this shitty dog tattoo that looks like a wonky skull from this angle. But they keep partying, then they head back to the hostel for a good time. Yeah, not buying it. Sorry, dude. You're not that interesting. She's way too good looking. Yeah, we're, we're 26 minutes in. There's an hour and seven minutes left, including the credits, and no one has died yet. I'm gonna regret saying that. Showering together? <laughs> Okay, I really thought they were gonna wake up in some kind of dungeon. I don't know what's happening anymore. I guess Ollie's not back yet. Oh no, never mind. Not the daddy. Yeah, he checked out this morning. A likely story. Uh huh. What they left, like together? So allegedly, their friend left with a girl that he wasn't with the night before, and uh, they're just disappearing together. Okay. So he basically just told a story about how uh, he saw a little girl drown and uh, still hears the mother screaming, but felt like he could have done more. So I feel like that's gonna be like some hero foreshadowing for later, as in like he's gonna try to be the hero and die. Okay, first jump scare and it's, it's the little kids from when I, I was gonna write a note and the, I got jump scared by the children. Great, awesome. Wait, did they actually find their friend? Hey. No, oh no, my God, they're getting lured. They're getting lured by someone wearing his clothing. Museum torture -y. Festive and fun. The thing behind them is gonna move. Yes, I fucking knew it. Be vigilant. Hey! Shocker, not Ollie. It's from Ollie. I go home? <laughs> wait, 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 that picture doesn't even look alive. <laughs> yeah, and here's the torture chamber. Oh God. Yep, he's not alive. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. It's, oh no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no. Oh my God, he just cut off her toe. I barely looked. Oh my God. I'm barely gonna be able to look at this screen for any of this movie. Ah. Okay, look, I, I like horror movies. I really like horror movies. I like slasher movies. I can deal with a lot of stuff like that. I can deal with the Ari Aster type stuff. This, I, I can't, I can't. Oh God. Oh, you go for disco? Actually, I just wanna find my friend. They don't want to disco. We'll be right out. Okay. Paxton wants to disco. Because when I'm studying for the bar, this is the shit that we're gonna think about. Good job, Paxton, you just got everybody killed. Again, girls like that don't buy guys like this shots. Yeah, I think he had a little bit more than alcohol. He lets me help you. I don't think that's his room. Yeah, that's not his room. There goes Pax. 
Oh, awesome. It's a trap bathroom. Dope. I just hit myself in the cheek with my headphones. So now they're definitely both in the torture dungeon. Ugh. Oh god. My nightmare. My nightmare. You get for calling someone a freak. You just don't do it. I regret this so much. I regret this so much. No, please don't. What the no no fucking don't do Okay. Oh god, okay. Yep, it's right through his knee. That's right through his leg. I think. Oh my god. Is Eli Roth okay? Oh, there's splash on it. Great. Awesome. S dope. How is he still alive? He looks like he put it through his heart. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What is he gonna do with that? What is he gonna do with that? What is he gonna do with that? I don't want to do this anymore. I, I don't want to do this anymore. Oh my god. I always wanted to be a surgeon. Oh god, what is it with these movies and people who wanted to be surgeons or were surgeons doing fucked up things to people? Why? It's like he's talking and I can't focus on what he's saying because I know he's gonna do something. Oh no. Oh god. No. <laughs> Tendon. <laughs> He's not gonna get out. He's not gonna get out. What's gonna happen? Oh god, there he is. I have money. I'll fucking pay you. Somebody like this doesn't care about money. Oh my god. And you won't pay that. There goes his throat. And there goes his throat. <laughs> That's fine. I can handle that. I can handle that. I want. Uh, that happens in movies all the time. Just not usually after somebody gets their Achilles tendon. Oh my god. Ooh, okay, we're over. We're back with Paxton. We're back with Paxton. Only 48 minutes left. That's great. I feel awesome right now. I really thought he was gonna get nabbed there too, but I guess passing out in the bathroom saved his life for now. 237. Didn't you check out? No, not yet. If it's a mistake. Well, yeah, it's definitely a mistake. Oh, no. We are going to the spa. You will join us? Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. All of these girls are plants. They are plants. They all go to the spa and invite these guys to spa so then they can torture them because why would they want them otherwise? Okay, sinister. Hey! I just love the recurring child gang. He's strangling a kid. Get your wins while you can, Pax, because I'm assuming you don't have many more after this. I was not enough alcohol for this. Just don't follow the attractive girls into the creepy dungeons. Don't do it, man. Just don't do it. No. No. Stupid. They should have just left for Barcelona. Panks, you got your friend killed. I don't know. I got sick and passed out. <laughs> yeah, so this is more the behavior I was expecting from these ladies. So yeah, I, if I was him, I would probably leave. Where are my friends? The art show. You oh. mean like a museum? Exhibit. Exhibit for artists. He's making an art exhibit, and these people are just okay with him torturing and murdering people for art. I don't want to drink, all right? I, I want to see some art. Yes. You're not going? I've seen this show. Oh, so you can, like, butter them up for this show, but you can't go see the exhibit yourself. <laughs> oh, it's like they just put a casting call up for the creepiest possible people. Oh my god, the foreshadowing was there. It's the tower. Be careful. <laughs> Why is that? You could spend all your money. Oh my god, that's Takashi Miike. Dude, if you guys haven't watched First Love by Takashi Miike, do yourselves a favor. So fun. I swear that this is actually a thing. I swear to god that there are rich people out there that are doing this kind of stuff and they're paying for horrible things to happen to people. I swear to god, if I disappear. Oh my god, no, please don't do this to me. How much is it? What are you free? That's a bad sign, bro. Oh my god, he sees his friend. See, I can handle this, you know? This is fine. Fucking work. <laughs> Why is his reaction to going to her and not the person that's like sewing up his friend? What the hell? I get a lot of money for you. That make you my bitch. <laughs> I will say this is messed up, but I love the parallel from the beginning when they're at the uh, at the sex shop and and it's Josh walking through all the hallways, seeing the like um, the the pane glass and and it's like all of the different people having sex in the rooms and you can just see the silhouettes. There's a parallel going on here. Oh my God, Eli Roth is an art no, I can't I can't commit to that. Okay, fine. Eli Roth is an artist. <laughs> Does that mean he gets away? Because Josh got away from the paid sex. 
So does that mean Pax gets away from the torture? We got 35 minutes to go. Talk. About what? Talk speak. About what? What do you want me to say? American. I wonder if they pay more for Americans. Look at me, I'm not f***ing American. American. <laughs> Dude, your passport's on you. Oh God, what's he gonna do with the scissors? Oh God, oh God, oh God. No, nothing, no eyes, no eyes, no eyes, no eyes. No eyes. Oh, he, his hair? Wait, he got some hair? Oh my God, it's a souvenir. No, 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 what are you gonna do with that? What are you gonna do with that, buddy? Oh God, <laughs> fuck out. Okay, right to the chest. Okay, I can handle that. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. I know you don't want to do this. <laughs> Bro, I think he does. Wettest dein Leben zerstören. Pleading in the German. A bold choice. <laughs> he doesn't like that. Oh yeah, it's definitely exact paralleling that earlier scene. No, 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 no. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Oh my god. Bro, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Is that a gun? Yeah, that was a gun. I, that's how I wanna go. I would've begged for that shit. I would've been like, yes, please. Oh god. I think I can handle chainsaw. I think I'm gonna be okay. Depends where he goes with the chainsaw. Oh, whole arm? Are we going for a whole arm? Okay, okay. Bold. I'm pretty sure I'd puke too, bro. Oh! <laughs> Wait, he just freed him. He just freed him! He cut off half of his hand, but he freed him! <laughs> Get f***ed, buddy. Paxton got the B-team murderer. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Tommy's running a pay for torture chamber watching porno on a <laughs> Yes. I really thought the last 30 minutes was just going to be 30 minutes of torturing Paxton. So I, this is a little bit better. <laughs> Fuck yeah. No, just pretend like you belong, man. Pretend like you belong. Just Alvita Zane your way out. Oh god, there's going to be someone in there. Who's in there? It's dead bodies! <laughs> Oh god, he's pretending to be a dead body. Ugh, I would have gone out guns a blazing. I wonder how many people walked out of this at TIFF. Walkouts are super fun. This was a bad choice, man. This is a bad choice. Okay, see, this isn't too bad. Oh no, it's Josh. How are you gonna kill this one? Let's go. Yes! Double tap, man, double tap. You've always got to double tap, man. All the way up, bro, all the way up. Maybe not all the way up. That was probably a bad idea, too. Okay, now I'm just like vibing. I'm like, yeah, Pax, you can do it, man. Oh my god, are the cops in on it, too? Oh god, that would suck so much. Yes, problem. Yeah, I'd say there's a problema. A problem for you, bucko. I'm getting really into this, actually. Oh, it's the guy's tattoo. How do I look? Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god, it's that guy! They probably could not have cast a single better actor to play rich douchebag who wants to pay money to murder people brutally. I've been waiting for almost a week for this shit. I mean, like, for 50 grand, she better be worth it, you know what I mean? I gotta say, though, some of these murder prices seem awful cheap. 25k for an American? Come on. I know this is based off a website that Roth found where you could go to Thailand and shoot somebody for $10,000 who knew that it was gonna happen so that they could give them money to their families, but still. Then he asks if he should go with his original plan of making it quick, but then, like, a psycho wants to know if he should draw it out. Make it quick. No! no. Fuck that shit! <laughs> yeah, now you got a gun. What are the chances a key would be in there? Oh my god, the key's in there. Oh no, he- I knew him telling that story about that little girl earlier on was gonna be foreshadowing for him to play the hero and he's gonna get himself killed. Oh no. Hey buddy! Oh god, what's he doing to her? What's he doing to her? Oh, he's blowtorching her face. Really? Oh my god, her eyeball is out of her face. I can kind of handle the eye being out of her face. The oh god, what are you doing? No, 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 no. Oh my god, he's gonna cut the eye out. Oh god, oh god, oh god, no. Okay, they're running away. They're good, they're gone. I thought I was in the clear. I need a stronger alcohol. I wouldn't even go to the cops after this, though. I would just back to America, baby. <laughs> oh my god. Pulp Fiction them. F***ing Pulp Fiction them! <laughs> oh no, she's not dead. <laughs> now 
she's dead. Oh God, it's the, it's the fucking gang of kids again. This is the most unexpected recurring aspect of this movie is these damn hustler kids. Give them the candy. <laughs> Oh my god, it's a swarm. Oh my god. They just bashed his head in with a rock. Oh my god. So they ditch the car, run to the trains, and that's where all the bodyguard dudes are just hanging out waiting for them. And just as they're about to go hiding these boxes, Connie catches a look at her reflection, which is the first time she's seen her face since half of it was burnt off with a blowtorch. Oh no, that's not good. It's just have your face, you're gonna be okay. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, I laugh. I, it's not because I think it's funny. It's just, it's uncomfortable after. It's fine. <laughs> Jesus, it's better than torture, though. I can handle somebody's head going underneath a train. Oh, did he get on a train? Okay, okay. I prefer to use my hands. Oh, no. It's I the believe guy. people have lost. I like to have a connection. Oh, it's his kid. So he's following them both. They go to the bathroom and Paxton follows the good doctor into the men's room. Oh, we're gonna get a final showdown. He pulls off like the craze like over it really well. Huh? Okay. That was gonna kill him. Oh my, oh my god, the scalpel's just there? Oh my god, he took the kid. Holy shit, he took the kid. Saskia! Damn. That's fucking brutal. Oh, that is not how I expected it to end. I was positive he was gonna kill that dude. Okay, I just looked it up. Apparently that was the alternate ending? Okay, hang on. Let's let's see how it actually ends. Oh god, he cuts off his finger. Of course. Oh my god, he cut off the same two fingers he lost. Oh my god, revenge. Oh my god. Swirly him to death. Yeah. Oh my god, he killed him the same way he killed Josh. He killed him the same way Josh died. Oh my god. Okay. Solid ending. All right, well, that was hostile. Uh, th that actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Like, yeah, some of the kills get more brutal, but they're not like... They're not torture brutal. They're just like, oh, we're gonna throw a fake body under a train and have the head explode. I can handle all of that. It's the torture stuff with the tendons and the eyes and the toes. Ugh. But yeah, I gotta say that like a solid 40 minutes of this is just like red light district shenanigans and partying, no horror vibes, which was totally intentional on Roth's part, but it definitely makes sense that my friends thought they were watching the wrong movie. I guess he originally wanted to shoot this more like a documentary based on the website he found where you could pay people to kill others, but didn't want to give them his credit card information for obvious reasons, but I still believe that people do this stuff. And as gross out as it can get, there are a lot of like really smart choices in it. It has a lot of really great parallels from like the guys literally going to Europe to pay for girls and drugs and all the types of things you can't do back in America to then being the ones getting paid for. Overall, a hell of a lot more thought went into this movie than I initially thought, even in the scenes that are particularly gruesome. And by the end, what I'm most horrified by is that Eurotrip has a lower critics rating. Does that mean I have to do Hostel 2 now? Banned from theatrical release in several countries. Oh my god. Okay, that's gonna do it for today's video. I have slight regrets. It's fine. Everything's fine. I'm okay. Okay. Oh yeah, this isn't a stream. I have to outro this. It's hard to remember what my outro is from this angle, but thank you all so much for watching. Thanks as always to my Patreon supporters. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Leave a like on the video if you're into that kind of thing. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. I'm... Mostly okay. We'll catch you all later.